Most people want lean cuts of meat, but we carnivores want fatty cuts of meat. And so often the fatty cuts of meat can be cheaper because people don't want them as much. The carnivore diet continues to explode in popularity. More and more people are finding out how nourishing and powerful this way of eating can be for our bodies and our minds. But there's a problem. We've seen the price of meat skyrocket, the price of eggs nearly double. So the price of our meals going up. And is this a barrier? Is the carnivore diet a sustainable way of eating for the average person, the average family? My answer is absolutely yes. The carnivore way of eating saves us money in the long run, even though it might feel a little more expensive in the short run. And there are at least 10 reasons why carnivore saves us money, and not just small amounts of money, significant amounts of money. First way you save money is that you stop snacking. Snacks cost money. I have two kids. We had snacks around the house all the time, and they add up. Crackers, cereal, bread. And, and, and when you go to different functions, you're expected to bring snacks. But my synagogue, we have snacks during class. It's a constant expense. And during the beginning of the carnivore diet, you do have some meat-based snacks, of course. But over time, you learn to satiate your hunger whenever you eat. Either if you do two meals a day, three meals a day, or one meal a day, you know your body and you eat everything during that meal time and you lose the need for snacking. It may seem, if you're just starting out, that may seem impossible, but it happens. And then you don't have the expense of snacking. So that adds up in the long run. The second and perhaps even bigger way you start to save money is you don't eat out as much. You don't. You simply stop having the desire to eat out. And then you realize it's much less healthy to eat out. And as you eat more at home, you save enormous amounts of money. A few weeks ago, we were traveling and stopped at, I think it was Texas Roadhouse, which is a reasonably priced steakhouse. And even there, the kind of steak that I would eat at home, I'd probably eat two of them, costs $35. Whereas if I made it at home and it was better at home, it was $12. You really see the savings when you become a carnivore because truthfully, restaurants make less money on meat than they make on other things because meat is more expensive to just buy wholesale. So the markup on meat is tremendous in restaurants. So you just simply save money eating at home and it's healthier. So you get double whammy. Look at this example from Carnivorous Me, a great YouTube channel on how much money she saved by not eating out and by just buying and eating meat. In April of 2022, two months before we started Carnivore, we spent $1,328.80 eating out. On top of that, we spent $427 on groceries. That means of April 2022, our food bill was $1,751.80. Started Carnivore June 28th, 2022. Now, of April 2023, we spent $180.26 eating out, and our grocery bill was $465.32. That means a sum total of food for Scott and I, we spent $645.50. That is $1,200 in one month of saved money on food. Well, the third thing that happens is there's less stress eating. Now, this is related to stopping snacking, but it's its own realm. Often we eat not because we're hungry, but because we're feeling stress, we're feeling anxious. It's just a way of satisfying, satiating us, getting our mind off whatever our problems are. And when you're carnivore, as I've said in several videos, you feel calm, more peaceful, less anxious. And you don't feel that desire to eat to eliminate stress. Now, sure, we all still have stress. Life can be stressful. But you're going to have less stress. 
and you're not going to solve it by eating. Your body adapts. One of the ways, at least that I have found myself dealing with stress, is I just get more engaged in other projects. If I'm feeling stressful about one thing, I engage in something else. It's wonderful. In fact, you get more done. This YouTube channel is a way of directing excess energy instead of worrying about another project. Here I can I can throw myself into a different project. That's how we deal with stress. A fourth reason carnivore actually saves us money is we have fewer desires. My friend and one of my favorite YouTubers, the minimalist carnivore, has talked about this. You don't yearn for as many things when you're a carnivore. You're satisfied with good meat and good people and good community. We realize that the simple pleasures of life are the most meaningful. Friendships, community, connection. And I have appreciated those more uh, as a carnivore. Again, it's I can't explain to you why, but you just feel more grounded. You feel more confident in who you are. And so your desires, you don't feel like you need to dress to impress or drive an expensive car to impress somebody. You are more grounded and carnivore helps bring that out. The fifth reason carnivore is not that expensive, in fact, you save money in the long run, you have more energy to do more things. So you can make more money. Again, I've talked about how I, I, I write books and I used to aim to write 500 words a day. When I went carnivore, I could easily do a thousand words a day and I still do. And so the, the excess energy can be used to produce something of value. So it could be a side hustle. It could be driving for Uber or delivery or creating your own YouTube channel. There are so many ways to use the energy and the focus that carnivore generates. The sixth way that carnivore really doesn't have to tax your wallet too much is you can take advantage of sales. There are lots and lots of sales on meat. So keep your eye out. Keep your eye out on Publix. Keep your eye out at Wild Fork. Keep your eye out at you know Kroger or whatever your local grocery store is. There are often sales on meat, especially around the holidays. And you can save a lot of money that way and stock up. Get a good freezer. A friend of mine just told me about a freezer that was on sale at Costco for $300. I almost bought it as an extra one to put in the garage just to store meat. But you can get meat on sale at the right time and put it in a freezer and save a lot of money that way. Seventh way you can save money is you stop drinking alcohol and soda and other expensive drinks. You just do. Some people still drink diet soda like Zevia or Diet Coke. I don't. I, I, I found that still nurtured my addiction. But in most carnivores, if they drink alcohol at all, drink much less. So there are a lot of carbs in it. And that saves a tremendous amount of money. So count that as a less expense if you truly embrace the carnivore way of eating. The eighth option is that there are lots of inexpensive meat options. There really are. I love ribeyes. Most carnivores love ribeyes and ribeyes are expensive, but you don't have to eat ribeyes all the time. One thing that I do a lot of now is roasts, chuck roasts. In fact, this new meat store I went to has great chuck roasts at a very reasonable price. And uh, that has a lot of fat. See, most people want lean cuts of meat, but we carnivores want fatty cuts of meat. And so often the fatty cuts of meat can be cheaper because people don't want them as much. The demand is less. Ribeyes are the exception, but you can get great fatty meats at a much lower cost. Like for example, Aldi has 7327. That's the probably the fattiest ground beef you can get at a grocery store. And it's the cheapest one. And so getting fatty cuts and fatty ground beef doesn't have to be expensive. And you can save a tremendous amount of money while still getting really good bang for your buck. The ninth way you can save money is you can even find good deals at fast food restaurants. I didn't believe this at first when I did carnivore. I said to myself, oh, McDonald's meat and Wendy's meat has to be horrible for you. It's not. Neither McDonald's nor Wendy's uses seed oil when they cook their meat. The other day, 
I was, I don't, there's a Wendy's near my house and I got three quarter pounders, just the beef, just the, the patty. I think my total was four bucks. So almost three quarters of a pound of good meat tasted wonderful for $4. You can, if you're on the road, if you uh, are just, you can't buy a whole bunch of steak right now, you can get a nourishing meal and it's carnivore and it's infinitely better than any of their other options. The 10th way that you can save money, and this is a very sort of long-term way, is that your healthcare costs will go down in the long run. You'll take fewer drugs. You'll have fewer doctor visits. Listen to carnivorous me here. I actually called the pharmacy and got the numbers and everything. I have cut out a handful of drugs and cut down a handful of my medications too. So I broke this down into what I'm saving every month by either not using it or cutting it down in half. Celebrex, I used to take it every single day. I saved $10 a month, not taking it anymore. My fluoxetine, which is my happy pills, antidepressant, I take half. So now I save $3 a month, only taking half of what I've been taking. I no longer have to take metformin, saves me $4 a month. The Lancets and the glucose test strips, I save about $10 a month, no longer having to do that because I'm no longer a type two diabetic. Those are kind of the drug costs. If you take more drugs or your insurance is slightly different, this could vary greatly for you by reducing these. The medications I take are some very generic basic ones, but when we're now talking about like uh, high blood pressure medications, high cholesterol, statins and stuff, the price goes sky high in how much you're spending on drugs every single month, okay? What a great story. She's really been able to cut down on her healthcare expenses. And anecdotally, I know people, many carnivores, they don't get sick as much. And so they don't miss work as much. And if you work where you're not paid a salary, but you're, you get paid by the hour and, and when you show up, that can save a tremendous amount of money. You can make more money because you're getting sick less often. The 11th way, a little bonus, is that when you successfully embrace the carnivore way of eating, you tell yourself that you have the power to build new habits. You have the power to change and to grow as a person. And that means you can build new skills. You don't have to stay stuck in what you've always done. And that ability to change, that ability to grow is a critical life skill. The world is changing faster than it ever has before. Even now, look at AI and how that's reshaping jobs and will reshape jobs. As a carnivore, you have the ability to learn new things, to grow, to change, to adapt. We are here because we are able to adapt and evolve and change with the times. And carnivore, if you can become a carnivore, you can do a lot of other things. Look at Carrie Mann. He, he, became a, he was already doing many things and he became a carnivore and just infinitely expanded what he was doing running a movie theater, running conferences, doing both homestead videos and carnivore videos, the energy and the confidence that you gain embracing this way of eating is off the charts. If funds are preventing you from getting into the carnivore way of eating, first thing you should do is just buy the best type of meat that you can afford. Ken Berry says you don't have to buy meat, hand a massaged meat. You don't have to buy fancy meat. You can buy it at the grocery store. That's still 99% better than the standard American diet. And then over time, as you build more resources, as you get used to this way of eating, you'll start to see the savings. You'll start to not have any desire to eat out, not have any desire to spend money on things that just bring you short-term pleasures instead of long-term satisfaction. So the hardest part is getting started. Start small. Start with grocery store, start with what you can afford. And then over time, you'll see that you'll build new skills, you'll make more money, and Carnival will become an integrable, a, a critical part of your finances. You'll see the way that Carnivore is like a good investment program. You start small, and then over time, the benefits become bigger than you could ever imagine.